Underneath every place on Earth is rock. At some places, the rock is exposed on the Earth's surface. At most places, however, the rock is covered by soil, water, or both soil and water. Even the soil is often hidden by forests, farmers' crops, parking lots, and buildings. But if we dig deep enough, we will find a layer of bedrock. The layer of bedrock nearest the surface is very often sedimentary rock, which means that it was formed from small particles that once settled at the bottom of a large body of water. The smallest particles from clay and rotted plants became mud. After the water drained off and more earth materials were deposited on top, the pressure from their intense weight changed the mud to the sedimentary rock called shale. Particles of sand, being larger and heavier, separated from the clay particles when settling in prehistoric seas. Layers of sand eventually became sandstone, another kind of sedimentary rock, in the same way that shale was formed. In many of these water bodies lived plants and animals that left their skeletons and protective shells which also became layered under water. Some are less than a millimeter long. When these remains were squeezed together for millions of years, limestone, a third kind of sedimentary rock, was formed. Even the coral reefs found in shallow parts of the oceans today may sometime in the distant future become limestone. We often find a layer or strata of one kind of sedimentary rock above or below a strata of another kind of sedimentary rock. We can see sedimentary rock strata on many mountain peaks and along the edges of most plateaus because land at those places has risen and then worn away. The profile of sedimentary rock often looks like a layer cake. There are many kinds of limestone. They vary in hardness. They also vary in texture and in color. Even the color of limestone changes when it is exposed to weather and stains from minerals and plants. Limestone is very much like human and animal teeth and bones. All are created by living things. The most important element of teeth, bones, and limestone is calcium. Calcium that has been united with carbon. Acids in solution will act chemically on such compounds of calcium and carbon to form new compounds. For example, in the bottom of the left container are bubbles of gas carbon dioxide gas formed by the action of acid on limestone. Vinegar is a common acid solution we can use to identify limestone. Because no gas bubbles form when these rocks are added, they are not limestone. But notice the difference when we test this rock. It is limestone. Limestone is found in every one of the United States. Where would you look to find it? This map shows where there is limestone bedrock. And here are locations where it is mined. Although some limestone is taken from underground mines, most of it comes from open quarries where the supply is near the surface. Also, in places where limestone is near the surface, highway and railroad cuts often expose the deposits. A plentiful distribution of cedar trees usually indicates limestone underneath the soil that is formed on top of it. The presence of caves, sinks, and large springs usually indicate limestone beneath the surface. Caves are formed by underground streams that wear away the rock after the first openings were made by natural acids of decayed plants and animals. When the ceilings of caves collapse, sinks appear on the surface. 
In prehistoric times, limestone caves provided shelter for animals and man. In such caves are man's oldest paintings. Primitive man also used limestone to make crude tools and weapons, construct shelters, and confine fires. Many scientists believe that Stone Age man discovered mortar when the limestone of outdoor fireplaces became soft after a rain. Previously, the heat of the fire had changed the chemical structure of limestone by driving off carbon dioxide to form lime. Lime has many uses. When water is added to it, its structure again changes. Lime Water and other earth materials, such as sand, are combined to make stucco, plaster, and mortar. When mortar dries, it hardens. Consequently, Mortar has been used since ancient times to hold together bricks and stones for walls, forts, arches, bridges, and buildings. During the present century, however, lime mortar has been replaced largely by mortar made from Portland cement or from a mixture of the two. Portland cement is made by heating a mixture of earth materials in a rotary kiln. Limestone, not lime, is an essential ingredient. Portland cement, when mixed with water and aggregates of sand and crushed stone, forms concrete. Concrete is shaped into foundations, dams, bridges, walls of buildings, bricks, pipes, and many other constructions. The crushed stone aggregate in concrete is often limestone. Much crushed limestone is used as a base over which concrete is poured for foundations, walks, and roads. Crushed limestone is also used to harden dirt roads and as a roadbed for railroads. Most of the limestone that is quarried is crushed. Most of the crushed limestone goes into concrete is used as roadstone and is converted to Portland cement and lime. When limestone is quarried in blocks, it is called dimension or cut stone. From this quarry along the Nile River came the limestone blocks used to build the Great Pyramid in Egypt. The ancient Egyptians also carved limestone blocks into monuments. American pioneers, too, used limestone for monuments. Many large commercial and public buildings we see today are made of limestone blocks cut to specifications. Blocks in many buildings are carved for ornamentation. Monuments, too, are still being carved from limestone. Dimension stone must have exacting and consistent composition, hardness, workability, texture, color, strength, and porosity. Blocks of cut stone that do not meet the standards of quality for buildings and monuments 
are often used for breakwaters and jetties. One of man's most valuable limestone legacies is the soil that has formed from it. Pastures on such soil are favored by people who raise the world's finest racehorses. A major use of both limestone and lime is to enrich the soil for agricultural uses. Limestone has more chemical and industrial uses than we have time to mention or explain. It is very important in your everyday life. Limestone is used in sewage treatment, soap making, and in water purification and softening. It is used in medicine, cosmetics, toothpaste, and glass. Limestone is also used in finishing textiles, as grit for birds in bird baths molded from concrete and in tanning leather. It is used in refining gasoline and making steel, paint, rubber, and many kinds of road surfaces. Paper and chalk also contain limestone. Of all rocks, Limestone is the most widely used.